Welcome back to Coding Goblin. So here it is, the DAISY UI, UI Review 2024. I will of course be using the internationally recognized Ferret scoring system, the official website scoring system recognized in over 89 countries. So that's enough waffling. Let's get on with the DAISY UI Review 2024. Let's have a little look at DAISY UI. It's built using Tailwind CSS, which means it's really easy to customize. That's great because these components provide a great starting point. If we go to this components tab here we can see there are a lot of components a lot look at all these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty nine fifty fifty one fifty two 53, 54, 55. And within those pages, there's variations. So if we click on table for example, there's not just one table. Oh no look one oh one two three four five six seven so that scrolls as well. That's nice, isn't it? A, so there's variants of each component type, which is really handy. I've been using it for a little while now, and I found it really easy to use. I've been using it in Vue.js. Annoyingly, if we have a little look here at the tabs, preview, HTML, JSA, there's not a Vue.js tab there. And that would be amazing if there was. And that is one of the things that is gonna go against it in this review. <laughs> But it's not Daisy UI's fault that it isn't catering for every framework or library because let's be real, there's so many. The good thing is you can easily adapt the HTML into whatever framework you need. So I've actually been doing that. You might have seen some of my little videos converting these HTML components into view components. So far, that's my only criticism is that there aren't view components as standard, but I am reliably informed that they are coming. I don't know if they're gonna be part of the free version or the paid version, because if you go up here to store, you'll see well firstly you'll see you can buy templates I've not bought any if we keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling stop scrolling you get to in development and you'll see ooh, headless UI and daisy UI component pack for view so that is what I'm going to be interested in because I use Vue and that's very similar to Tailwind UI. That's something to look forward to. I have no idea when that's going to be available. I have no idea how much that's going to cost, but should be interesting. I touched on the number of components. There's a lot. There are a lot, but how do they look? That's the main thing we really care about. Do they look good? Are they easy to use? And the answer is, the short answer is, yeah, they look good. They're very plain and very simple. That's what you want. You don't want something that's, that is designed in such a way that it's hard to adapt, or you have to stick with that style throughout your website if you use one component. The fact that they're really simple and easy to edit is great. And that brings me on nicely to one of the main features of Daisy UI, and that's the theming. This is amazing. I did this for the first time the other day. So you can basically come down here, make your own theme. You just change the colors here to whatever you want and then it gets previewed here. Just reset that. Think of a color. Red. You can change whatever you want. You can preview it here. It's good. It's really good. And then you just whack that in the Tailwind config file. And then all the components work nicely because they use classes like primary, well, they use these, don't they? Primary, secondary, etc. So that is a really, really good, really good feature of Daisy UI, a feature that Tailwind UI doesn't have. This isn't about Tailwind UI, but they obviously do similar things. So I will compare it to Tailwind UI a bit here and there. I like Tailwind UI, by the way. It's good, basically. Also, this is quite nice, isn't it? Just having all this preview here is decent, very decent. Daisy UI also gets points because a lot of people use it, a lot of high profile people. Don't ask me to name them off the top of my head. But if you go onto Twitter and look at people that do a lot of stuff, a lot of them use Daisy UI. So that's a good sign. That is a reason to use it. If high profile people are using something and they're making money from their products and they've used these tools to build those products, that's probably a good indication that it's reliable, you can use it, it's gonna be around for a while. If you can't tell by now, I rate it highly. I think it's very good. The only negative thing, the fact that it doesn't have view support right now. So I think that's been enough chat about Daisy UI. Let's get on to the rating. So overall, it's amazing, really good, really easy to use, enjoyable to use. The theming element of it is great. I'm gonna deduct one point for the lack of Vue.js support. That gives Daisy UI a score of nine ferrets. A very respectable score there. Very respectable indeed. You should be proud of that, Daisy UI. Very proud. Do what you want with that, but if you're smart, you'll probably display it right here on your website. 
with a link to this YouTube channel. So there you have it, a wonderful little review of Daisy UI. Thanks for watching and join me next time where we do something else. Have a great day, subscribe, farewell.